Can you guys guess where we are? I bet you can, especially, you know, without with all the dinosaurs. We are here at the dinosaur park celebrating Valentine's Day because dinosaurs. And who doesn't love scary dinosaurs on va Valentine's Day? They're getting aggressive. We, we better get going. We better get going. I've never noticed this before, but not what I would expect at a place called the dinosaur park. Weapons. World War One. French, Japanese, this a little bit of everything. Weird? Also, this is a lot. This in general, there's grenades, there's bullets, there's coins. There's a lot going on here. And these crystals were even made in the Great Salt Lake. I mean, salt is really salty and it makes crystals. Salt Lake, that's what it does. Also, they have this whole rock area. I've never actually really shown it off. It's really cool. There's so many different gems, rocks, fossils, all sorts of different things in here. I mean, will you look at the size of this diamond? Now that's a big lady. The lady, it'd be exact actually. Because I will admit, as cool as gems are, you look over there and there's dinos and you want to go look at them because dinosaurs. I don't remember these being here last time, but these are like really cool. Also, these are really scary. Like, the closer you get to them, you're like, this is terrifying. But, I like his little gobbler on this one. It's a cute little gobbler. I don't know if it's just been a good minute since I've been here, but everything seems very much cleaned up and like looks really nice. Like, I don't remember this dude being here. I don't know how to say his name or else I would, but I don't remember this. Maybe they are just keeping it cleaned up and looking nice, or I don't know. It looks good though. You can actually go find gems here. What? Oh, only 11 to 5, you just have to ask an employee. Also, can I just say, they finally added like a Utah Raptor right when you walk out here. It's terrifying how big this boy is, but the modeling. Real nice. It looks like it's gonna hold up for a long time. Like, good job modelers. Also, we're outside because the outside dinos are like my favorite part and everything's been retouched up because everything has such a pretty paint job on it right now. I love him because he is, looks like he's going, huh, no thank you, no thank you. Onto the mystery trail. Bryce, you ready to go on the mystery trail? Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness. There's actually babies here, and also they've gone frozen. Winter, it's a hard time for dinos. Also, can I say, I'm very happy the path is paved and road, so you don't feel like you're slipping in mud and about to fall and die. Very grateful for that. Also, now that the bear actually has some friends, you know, scary t cheetah tire things, but- It's a leopard. Leopard, oh, there you go, that's, that's the word. But, big bear. Leopards. Also, they add these really cool looking wolves or Canis Dyrus. I'm gonna butcher every name just so you guys know, but they look really good. Like, that one in the back looks really scary though. It's like, it's seen some stuff. Also, can we just talk? Like, going through the trees, you don't really see them until he like pops out. That was terrifying. A Diplosaurus. Hello. Don't kill me. All right, will someone answer? Both these dinos over here look very traumatized. Like, look at the eyes. What have you seen? The Lost Trail has not been good to you. Also, there's a really loud dino around here. Also, scary dolphin. He sees all. He sees everything, everything. Help me, I'm really cold. Help, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Oh, I should let you guys know, they actually have an app that is like really cool. And here's all the sponsors, but pretty much you can go around all around the park and actually click on like, let's say we're by the rafters, which are like right here. You can look at him, get a 3D model of him. 
Oh, coming soon. Never mind. Not no 3D model yet. But you know, even press in, you can actually learn how to say the names right. Like, it's pretty cool. I appreciate apps that help me understand what the dino's names are without me having to try to pronounce it myself. Laziness. It helps. Fun fact. This cave down here is actually called the Allosaurus Cave. Is there going to be a dino in here? I sure hope so. Oh my goodness. There's no dino in here. It's dead. It's dead. That one's real dead. Disappointing. I will say, the Spinosaurus here is like one of my favorite because it is just so massive. Oh, cool his his tail is having some problems, but oh, someone help him. Also, that's really interesting how they're made. It's like cement and everything. It's really cool to actually see how they're made. But yes, the Spinosaurus is huge. I'm six foot and that's just his arm. This thing's big. Also, like I said, the paint jobs look so good. Sorry, I'm just uh, amazed by all of them. Like he is so bright and also dying. Bright but dying. That, that's the slogan for my life. But they're so pretty. It's not coming up on camera, but there is like some really big fish in here. Oh, actually you can kind of see right there. You can, I'll put a red circle, but he's huge. Also these, Birds? Penguins. penguins? Penguins, I'm gonna say, are going to eat them. They're going to be in a good time. Those are some big fish. I would also be screaming that all my water is frozen. Like, where did you get that fish? Your water's frozen. How? How? Also, that's quite the tongue. Uh -uh. Also, they have a thing called Ramp, which is Recreation Arts Museum Parks. I love that. What a cool name. Guys, there, there's a scary dinosaur walking around. Oh, spot us. It's gonna eat us. It's gonna eat us. <laughs> it's running away. <laughs> All right, so that will do it here at the dinosaur park. So join us on our Valentine's Day. We're, this is pretty much Valentine's Day. We're gonna do some fun stuff, so let's keep going. I mean, but dinosaur park done. Now on to, I think Build-A-Bear. I think we're going to Build-A-Bear next. But dinos, who doesn't love dinos? Also, one of my favorite parts is, I didn't realize how well paint jobs these are. Like, I don't know. I appreciate someone who keeps on top of stuff. Like, that's very important to me. And like, they look so good. Very impressed. Very impressed. Goodbye, Dinosaur Park. And through the scary gates. They gotta lock out the dinos because they're scary. We don't want them getting free. We've seen what happened in Jurassic Park. It's completely nighttime now. We had a rush because we got here. Um, here, we'll start off. So we got here and went to Build-A-Bear. We've got um, a dog. He got Pikachu. Make him sound. Make, make him sound. Pikachu. And then mine is... It makes a Chewbacca noise. It's fun. I mean, and mine smells like mints. It smells like Girl Scout cookies because that's always cute. And then we went to the movie theater that's right behind us, or actually in front of us. Right there. And then we saw Fantasy Island. What do you think? Uh, it was good. Um, it's gonna be very forgettable though. Yeah, I thought it was okay. It was a very okay movie, but it'll be gone in probably six months. People will completely forget about it. So, but overall, I still thought it was a fun movie. Um, now, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna go get a Papa Murphy's heart-shaped pizza and go home and watch a movie. Yep, it's gonna be fun. Also, this is a really fun area. This is where me and Bryce, after our first date, just hung out for like five hours. 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 It was probably until one in the morning. We sat here and just talked for hours, so it's cute. Valentine's. <laughs> we're gonna build a bear for a good long time because they're very chatty and a couple of mishaps happened, but also, we were 20 minutes late for the movie. We were still seeing commercials by the time we got there. 20 minutes in, so, oof. So, feel fun, you know, I, maybe it's just the movie theater we went to, but I don't know if it's just that, or the movie had a lot of ads, but oof. All right, we are officially back home after getting cookies, saying hi to my mom, getting her some flowers. Very fun, you know. But now, I'm gonna show you what we got, like flowers-wise, what we gave to each other, so here we go. Also, don't mind the cabinets open behind me, because, you know, dishes. 
doing dishes as well. So this is what we have. So this is a little bit of a mix of both what I got Bryce and ourselves. Also Bryce is behind there. <laughs> there he is. Anyway, so I got him some candies. Of course Hershey because Hershey's is the only way to go. He got me a big old chocolate Hershey's bar because that's my favorite candy bar. Uh, flowers, um, there's some his, he got me, and then there's his. And then Dr. Pepper because that's his favorite, a card. And I got my Chewy, that's why I named him. He, come on, Mika. There we go. I like it though. I, this is very much our, oh, I forgot to show the cookies. Thank you, Bryce. This is why I have him here. He, re he reminds me of stuff. All right, so Crumble is a very Utah thing. I don't know if it's all over the world, but I feel like this is very Utah. Pretty much, you can order these cookies any time of the day. They're very nice. You can order them at like one in the morning, and they'll get delivered to your house with cookies and milk. But anyway, we got all sorts of cookies. We got, uh, let's see, a cookies and cream. Oh, a red velvet, just a sugar cookie. Bryce, do you remember what this one was chocolate called? Chocolate and caramel. A chocolate and caramel. All right. That one looks like a mess, but they're so good. They are too good. So Bryce, you're just on the internet. <laughs> How much was a Disney wedding? Uh, because we were like, oh, that might be reasonable. Like the cheapest and we're, we're one. And we're not getting married, just so everyone knows. The cheapest one is like 5,000. 5,000. The most expensive is like 180,000. I don't know who has that type of money. To be in front of the, the Sleeping Beauty castle. But yeah, no. It came up on his Facebook, and I was like, well, let's see how much it is. We're not getting married yet, but yeah, 5000 that's not bad, but in front of the Disney Castle is a little much. Not a little bit out of my price range. Disney World's much cheaper. Is it? Yes. <laughs> so this is what we decided to do for dinner. We got a heart-shaped pizza. I mean, it just fits how our relationship is. It's really cute. Like, I usually prefer pepperoni, but sometimes, you know, you gotta work with, you know, relationships. But it's still just as cute, and I like um, cheese just as much. But let's hop into this pizza and enjoy it. Now here's the question. How do you cut a heart-shaped pizza? Do you go right down the middle, and then go to like side to side? How do you do this? Alright, I think I found the best way to cut a heart pizza. It's still kind of lopsided on some of the pieces, but I think this is the best way. So now we're just in the basement eating some pizza. We're about to go watch Love, Simon. We've seen it a million times, but it's such a good movie. And plus it's Valentine's Day, and who doesn't like a good romantic movie during Valentine's Day? All right, so I think that will do it. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit all over the place because that's kind of how today was, was all over the place. But if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, all those fancy things. And we will see where we decide to roam and wander next.